drinking dungeon. Yeah. Uh, it's been a couple weeks for us, uh -huh. which is new yep. uh, to play so often. Um, and it's actually been a little over a couple weeks. It's been about three weeks in game since the last time that we played as far as the characters go. Um, we, we discussed what maybe you guys did during the time off. Bergamot was performing, uh, so he, he gained some gold during the downtime. I'd say roll just a uh, 2d10, and whatever you roll on that is tips that you got. You guys have also been doing random jobs for the Wanderers. You came back with, uh, with a, a letter from Guardsman Berger which got a contract with the city guards. You guys have been doing little things here or there, so all of you also start out with 20 more, uh, not 20 more, 10 more gold pieces each. Okay. Everything has been going great. You guys have been staying in the, in the inn. Um, outside of the jobs, nothing really has, has happened. You guys have become closer with Dodden. Um, and that's another thing that we should discuss is where Dodden. maybe you guys want to go with Dodden. Like, do you want to try to introduce him maybe to <clears throat> Fairyport at some point? Or do you want to keep him a secret? I feel um, like it's not fair to have him cooped up so much. I feel like maybe in the last few weeks we have kind of figured out where we might be able to introduce him. Um, we might be able to figure out what kind of crowds, you know, uh, would be the best way. Because first off, it's going to be overwhelming to him. But second off, you know, we can't have him stick out and put him in somewhere where he's going to be endangered. So maybe going, up, like, if you're performing and the crowd's going wild over that, if he's kind of back at a table getting to take it in and kind of figure out what, like, even just understanding how um, this, this culture interacts. Who can somebody? Ooh. Uh oh. Can somebody cast a spell on him to make him look like a different sort of oh, yeah. creature? Um, well, I well, don't think I have any abilities to modify. You did get a makeup and disguise kit. I did it because it was too expensive, which brings me oh. to I feel like Xyla wants to get into a little bit of mischief and maybe just procure those things that she can't afford. Oh, here we go. All right. Um, um, we're not going to steal anything from the Hafners, because... Not from the Hafners. I was just thinking maybe somebody would leave their wig lying around. You, or, know, those, you know, those pesky wigs, you yeah, know. There's... Maybe somebody left a cloak draped over a... Something. Okay, I mean, we'll I've seen what you, we could do with bedrolls. I'm sure we could just at least, like, you know take a curtain off and sew it into something well as far as um you know like i think that if we really had to we could um you know distract or fascinate via magic but i feel like that's problematic for a couple of reasons because uh we have not seen anybody use magic here in town and also that's only going to last temporarily mm -hmm. to a certain crowd other yep. people won't even be affected by that magic so yep. <clears throat> that's a last ditch as, as far as as far as I, in my opinion. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Do we have a mask maker in town that might be able to fas fasten some kind of like mask for him to wear? Not like this isn't uh, <laughs> sci fi futuristic. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, let's I say don't know. At the inn, uh, you've become friends with the innkeeper's son, uh, whose name is Luke. Uh, named after our friend in Atlanta, Luke. Uh, he, he was very excited. I was like, we need an innkeeper's son. And, and Luke's like, all right, can it be named after me? Actually, I, I offered. Cool. Um, but that, I'm saying that because you all know, know Luke, and, and so you can sort of see how you would interact with him at the inn, and that Luke might be the good entry point to bringing Dodden about. But... Um, We'll skip over that for right now. That's something that we'll deal with uh, off camera, maybe introduce it next session, because we've got the most important thing. I probably forgot it because I'm feeling under the weather and I'm not going to be drinking tonight, but it is drinking dungeon, and we haven't done a shot yet. Uh, yeah, my shot about fell out on the table because of that. So yeah, into the new, the new monitor that's yeah. inset yeah. perfectly <laughs> there to catch any drips. Yep. What did I say Like as soon as you said? You were like, oh. someone's going to drop water in there. I was like, who's going to drop water in there? 
Nobody. <laughs> this is not water. This is a concoction made by yours truly. And what are we calling this? Ghost Lights Gone Sour. What? <laughs> oh, I'm still spilling. Still spilling. I don't think uh, these, these are very okay. full. Oh, oh. We'll, we'll see I if these ghost lights work. <laughs> I don't think so. Ooh. Mmm. Mm. Tasty. That's actually... I think that's fresh. And we'll be putting the recipe up. Mm -hmm. yep, yep, we'll be putting it up on Patreon again for all of our Patreon backers. Aha. And then it'll go live Exclusive. a month after that. Yeah, so everyone else can see it uh, a month after. Yeah, that really good. So, where we are today with you guys is you're on another job from the Wanderers. There have been, uh, as there want to be, bandits on the road. And... Uh, the city guard doesn't have time to deal with every small thing that happens out on the roads, so they hired the wanderers and sent you up to take care of it. You find yourself on the road north of Ferryport. Uh, the buildings that doubt the outskirts of the city are long to the south. Green lands sprawl out in all directions, the rolling hills that surround you the last features before you'd enter the plains of Altros. The day is sunny and warm, spring is in full effect. You sit in a wagon, ready to launch a plan to capture the bandits who've been robbing merchants and travelers north of the city. I'm gonna get them. So what I've done is I have given you guys a, a wagon that the city guard provided and Ooh, it is up to you guys to tell me how you want to go about this. Here we go. What color is our horse? Yeah. <laughs> it's um, like a caramel color to me. Can it be chestnut? It looks like a chestnut. It can be chestnut. Does it have a name? Um. These are important facts. It, it actually does. Uh, but can I find it in time? Goliath. Goliath. Oh. I love that. All right. Can it be female and still be named Goliath? I feel like I think that you um, could be a. I don't think you have to be a male to be a Goliath. Oh, so we're just walking by the cart. So I'm sending you guys up next to the cart, and okay. now you guys can tell me. You guys have a horse, a cart, and I assume maybe that you're going to be a decoy. But you guys tell me how you're going to to deal with. Yeah, I feel like this. We're going to be making a lot of noise with this cart. Like so, we're trapping bandits. Well, the city guard gave you the cart, so that way you could pretend to be people Moving that they rooms. might. Okay, but they might try rob. to stop and rob. Yes, but I, um, if you guys want to abandon the cart and not go about it that so, way, I kind of feel I'm okay. Um, I'm comfortable uh, controlling the cart, driving the cart. I probably am fine just kind of riding along. I feel like you're really swift that you can just kind of, you can either be under the cart or you can be along the outskirts so that if we are ambushed by chance, you can ambush the ambush if that's possible. Um, regardless, if anything comes up on the cart, I'm going to probably um, uh, like cast a, my spell days to try to, um, you know, kind of freeze everybody enough to that you guys can kind of sweep in. What if I, like, was under some blankets and I was, like, pretending to be a helpless lady? You can be wrapped up as, like, a little old help! lady. Help! Dodden is not with us. No. Yes. No. Okay. What are you wanting to do? What, um, <clears throat> what sort of materials, um, would, uh, would they have sent us with on the cart? Probably some, like, extra crates. Maybe some blankets. Um, you know, we could uh, we could always go for um, we could go for some an impressive entrance into the area. In which case, we could have like uh, Zyla or Bergamot could ride the horse and appear, you know, much more uh, dramatic um, coming in. It's always about drama with you guys. Well, if we wanted to, <laughs> if we really wanted to be noticed we we would come in as though we're you know like completely lost but yet very sure of ourselves as though we just stumbled into this versus if we just come in as some some scrappy 
you know, people with just a, a tattered cart with some, some barrels, we may not even appear as though there's something that people, that the goblins might want to come get. You know, they may not even want to come. So are these bandits on foot? Or, I mean, the bandits. <laughs> it's been reported that the bandits are on foot. There's three to five of them. And, and the same just, bandits, or it's just like different bandits there's, coming? There's been a couple reports, yes, of the same bandits. Okay. Do what? I feel Do like it's any, just... like, tracks. I mean, you guys, yeah. here, here's the thing, is it's been robbing over a large section of land. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's not like you can pinpoint one area. So basically, they're just we're just going to go up and down the road until they try to get us. I think yeah. whatever we could do to make the cart appear to be uh, full of things, mm -hmm. but very poorly guarded. Yeah. So mm -hmm. if two of us hid amongst the barrels yeah. and uh, And then I'm and driving carts, it along, they're more likely going to, um, you know, attack a single person on a full cart than, uh, you know, three people, if there's three people there. Are there, like, holes in the, like, sides of the cart in case... I need to use it's it not. Arrow. It's not tall. Is it and a wagon or more like a like open top? Yeah, it's completely. Open. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So um, yeah, I I am fine with hiding under the covers. Okay. Um. How um. How much can we rely on uh on um, what's the horse's name? Goliath. 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 How how? How dare you forget Goliath already? You just um, met him. Yeah, I just met. Uh. Hi, Goliath. Well met. And um, it, it probably like shakes his head and just like sniffs at you. Well, hey, Rover. No, yes, yeah. he's, he's not talking horse. Uh, but um, <laughs> the Dark Return course. is not one of those worlds. <laughs> we, um, how many of us could ride the horse without the cart? Like, if if the horse needs one, if one of us. One. Could ride this the is horse. not like a really a riding horse. Okay, that's what that's what I was trying to figure out. Is if we need to, what can we count on this horse for? Can if it pull all three to? of us? Mm -hmm. Okay. Then yeah, you two hide, um, and then I'll be riding along. If something comes out, I'll daze it, and you guys pop up and start shooting or stabbing or whatever. Okay. Forms. Do they want these bandits torture. back alive. Did they oh, tell yes. us? Okay. Oh. So we're gonna try to not kill the bandits. Got it. Mm. Well, that's not fun. Yeah, I can't make promises. Well, I might accidentally run them over. You know, it happens. We we should figure out uh, what is our approach once we have their attention. How to not kill them? Who has rope? I do. I've got some rope. I've got some silk rope. So there's a couple ways that you can do this. Um, you can use weapons to do non-lethal damage. So it acts just as your normal weapon, but it's like slapping them with the flat of your blade. Hmm. And when someone reaches zero hit points with non-lethal damage, they just get knocked out. The other thing that you can do is you can beat them up until they hit zero or less, and then Ada can come in and stabilize them with her heal skill, uh -huh. and that way they won't die, but then they'll be out. Yeah, um, but it's still, it'll use um, it'll use mana for me to heal them. No, too. no, not with your heal skill. Remember, oh you have the yeah, heal yeah, talent. take a round of uh, oh yeah, mm -hmm. and just get them up to like one hit point. Okay. Um, so. So you have those options. I'll also say that they did give you rope as well, because okay. they wouldn't send you out to capture bandits without rope. Uh, Wait, am I small enough to fit inside one of the crates that we're carrying? Sure. Because I want to be able to like see what's going on around me, because I'm assuming these crates are made out of wood and probably have slats. Oh wait. And I can so, like see. No, You're looking out no, the bug hole. Are you looking out the bug hole? The crate. What? The, the crate is hole. a crate. It's not a. Like, you don't build crates with, crate? with slats. <laughs> Is it a barrel or a crate? Either one of them. No, If you want to be able to difference. see, being inside of something is not the best idea. No, I mean, like, blankets. a shame if, I, the bunghole. if we pry off a piece of wood on each side of the crate, then I can just, like, you know, have a 360 view. Okay. <laughs> and I can be ready, because if, if we're under the covers and we're just, like, hearing what's going on, we might not be able to tell what direction they're coming from, and, like... Bergamot you know, goes over and removes a slat from each side for Zyla, and then she climbs in, <laughs> and then he nails the top shut. <laughs> <laughs> he does not do that. He does not do that. <laughs> so, now that you guys are somewhat <laughs> situated... I guess, yeah. ...inside the wagon or outside... Um, I'm gonna... 
tell the horse to go on. All right. I'm not a talking horse. I didn't say it was a talking horse. I said I was telling the horse. <laughs> they understand commands, even if they can't talk. So give me a awareness check. Just Ada. Mm -hmm. 18 plus 3. 21. 21. All right. The cart has moved down the road a little bit. And up ahead, you see a figure face down in the Whoa. grass next to the road. That's how they've been a getting ripped, everyone. A ripped sack right next to him. Oh, no. <clears throat> okay, guys. I'm going to kind of say this like hush hush. Am I able to almost communicate with them, or can they hear not hear me over the rumble of the wagon? I can hear you just fine. I'm if sure you, if you like If you slow back. down, they would be but, able to hear you. Yeah. So I kind of slow down, and so the horse is at just a slow walk, and I'm like, okay guys, there's somebody down on the, like, somebody down at, you know, 12 o'clock, or, um, or 11 o'clock. <laughs> um, I don't know if he's really down, or if this is, you know, a setup. Um, I want to at least move up to, like, maybe right there. Let's right. throw something at him. Just ride. Like a couple yards? No, just ride yeah. right towards him and don't stop. If he's dead, he's dead. But if Can he's I alive, roll another awareness now that I'm closer? Yes. Okay. Let's charge him. 19. 19. He's moving a little bit. Mm -hmm. on the ground but you can't see if he's like injured or anything but you, he is moving he's not dead run over his legs <laughs> shut <laughs> up okay call out to him um, yeah I'm gonna say um hello there uh do you need assistance yeah do you, do you need assistance <laughs> Zyla whispers from the grave I'm a person of few words okay <laughs> Bergamot starts uh humming uh everyone's favorite tune Oh, yay, Singing Barrels. <laughs> That's the name of the song, Singing Barrels. <laughs> Do you want to start singing, or, or are you just keep humming? Okay. He's just enough for them to hear. He's humming the ghost, uh, ghost the same, lights gone sour. The same volume that, <laughs> that Ada whispered back to us. Bergamot just sort of starts humming back. Cause there's a nice, there's a nice... You know, beat I'll kind of hum along to kind of over, over, <laughs> do it. Not as you, in tune as him. When but. you call out, uh, the man face down is like, uh, the hell. Oh. And he's like, you got speakers in the back of that <laughs> wagon? <laughs> it's actually my horse. He loves to sing. <laughs> um, crap, I've got to make the call. I think you should maybe await. You put him precariously between two bushes. Wait, yeah. that's not the right word, is it? Put him suspiciously between <laughs> two bushes. Yeah, precariously between two bushes. <laughs> like, no, where he's what? just like balanced on yeah. him. Yeah, like, <laughs> what? Um, know, suspiciously between hole. two bushes there. Xyla notices that we're right between two bushes. Like, hey, if Hey, Ada, if this is a setup, people might come out from those bushes to attack us. I know, but, you know, we're here to find them, and if this is them. So, I'm going to stop my cart. Um, I'm going to say call to the man on the ground, uh, what did this to you? The answer now, are you friend or foe? Friend. They, they took all my goods. They took them all. Okay. He's dressed in all black. I don't know if we can trust him. Racist. Yeah, yeah that's kind of racist. His clothes! Don't judge somebody based on what they're wearing. Yeah, I don't know. Zyla, you think he, he was wearing a freaking water skin, okay? And I look good. Well, 
And we all judged. We Don't judged. Watch. Okay, yeah. I mean, like... Zyla, you think you could hop down there and tie him up real quick? Nope. Would you? <laughs> I apparently nailed in a box. I... <laughs> <laughs> I'm yes, not getting off this cart, so somebody's got to go tie him up. Somebody should at least hop down and bind him. And the smallest person you think should get out and try to do that? Okay. I mean, the smallest. Fine, because nobody else is doing it. <laughs> I'm going to go up to the stranger, and <laughs> I don't know if I should tie him up or ask for assistance. Damn, I don't want to leave Goliath, though. No, you stay on the horse. Okay, well, then somebody else has got to go. All right, I'll go over here. Okay. Where do you want to be? Right here? Um, yeah, and I want to... Um, I and I get, my, I get my bow ready, just in case anybody... I'm, like, at the bushes, like... I've got wild slots. magic. I'm looking through there the There is no way you can shoot a bow through the slot. <laughs> yeah, how do you get the range? These, I'm pretty small, and these crates are pretty big, right? I mean, like, they're well, really big, so I could probably just... <laughs> I'm going to, at the very least, start inspiring some courage amongst my... Uh, my companions here. Walk up All and right. sing to him. I'm walking up singing, and part of of my song is meant to establish to this guy that, like, if I'm walking up singing, if he attacks me, that's a pretty obvious way of knowing whether or not, like, if you attack somebody who walks up singing, I've demonstrated that I am being friendly okay. towards him. Well, what happens? So you guys are all getting the bonuses as you walk up, Bergamot. Uh, he spins around with a crossbow and then sees you, and he goes. <laughs> Oh, you're a sodding ugly one, ain't you? And then I jump up out of the crate with my cr with my crossbow. Or Do we need to roll initiative? Time for initiative. Ow! Where's my shoot? <clears throat> trying to remember. I'm like... I am last. <gasps> Where's the initiative at it? Because um, this new sheet, I can't remember. Plus one. Oh, got it. Look at all those people. That's I know they're going to come out from the bushes. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> all right. Do you want us to call out? Uh, one second. Getting you guys added in. All right, Zyla. Eleven. Eleven. Ditto. Ada is eleven. Same. Yep. Bergamot. One. One. Way to go. You're the one closest. All right. So first Can off, I cast, or, never mind. the one back on the hillside behind you guys fires an arrow down I at have Ada. This. Let's do like. Yes. What's your AC, Ada? <laughs> Hold on. Twelve. Twelve. All right, that arrow hits you <laughs> and does four points of damage. <laughs> You know, I should have thrown days at that guy before we got off the thing, now that I realize. Too late. The next Oops. one, uh, the one with the crossbow by Bergamot, fires the bolt right at Bergamot. The bolt flies over Bergamot's head, though. Xyla or Ada, who wants to go first? I would love to go. Um, let's see. If... Um which space is he technically on, like, if I was trying to be close to him? Uh, there's a token. Oh, that, that circle? Yeah. Okay. How far can my short bow of range 60 feet? Yeah, yeah. so you, you can hit... Each one of those spaces is what, like... Five feet. feet, so you can hit anyone that's out there. Um... Pretty much. Okay. Question about, um, so if I, if I do, uh, days... It says that I can do it on one creature of four hit dice, um, or a c creature with four or fewer hit dice. Mm -hmm. How how do you determine how many hit dice a creature has? You don't know. I don't know. Okay. Chances are, though, uh, a little metagame thinking, if I put four guys that all had four hit die against you guys, when you guys only have two hit die worth of hit worth yeah. of dice, you guys would all be dead. Okay. So, so I'm going to throw days at somebody i guess um the one that's closest to bergamot hold on that one's already attacked this round oh yeah 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 actually good call um i'm gonna do the um this guy 
How do I? This guy right here. Wait, weren't there four? Which one? That oh. I just pinged it. That one? Okay. Yeah. All Do right. I roll for it? Nope. Uh, okay. I roll to save against your spell. All right. And Is he dazed? You, you can't tell. Damn it! I so I don't know. Nope. Man, I thought this was gonna be way cooler. Especially from from that distance, it'd be hard to see. Like, call out and ask him. How does hey, it? how's it going, brother? <laughs> Uh, he's like, ain't dazed. Uh, I ain't dazed. <laughs> <laughs> of course, his accent's so uh, so deep. You're not even sure really. What We're like, are they? Yeah. What? All right, Zyla, Excuse what do you want to do? Speak I up, man. Do a can I do a non-lethal bow like no. a arrow? I can't do an arrow to like the leg or something. Well, yeah. Arrow to the knee. Shoot him in the knee. Yeah. You can shoot. You, yeah, you can shoot. But I'm just saying, you can't shoot anyone. It's like, I'm going to pull out a gun and I'm going to shoot them non-lethally. A bullet hits. You'll hope that it won't kill them. Yeah. I'm going to... I'm going to say... No, I'm gonna. I'm just going to shoot for, uh, for a knee. See what happens. How about that? Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, unless you guys don't want to die, you better give yourselves up right now. <laughs> it's it's on edge. It, like, wedged itself. I moved the cup. That's a two. <laughs> it's not a one, but it's still a two. <laughs> well, with the... So do you... It's, it's a five. Okay. With do, the bonus. do you yell at them? <laughs> if you want to die, you better give up. And yes, then I roll still a two. yell it. Yeah. <laughs> like, so you just yell that and then just shoot an arrow like that up was a, in the that air. was a warning. I say that was a warning shot. <laughs> if you don't want to get <laughs> one in your the knee. Dice. I'm an ace with this thing. <laughs> the the guy on the hill that you sort of shot an arrow somewhat towards is like, yeah, right, kid. And fires an arrow down on you, and it hits you oh. in the stomach for four <gasps> points of damage. Oh, yes. stomach! Mm. All right, playtime's over. That's what I yelled back at him. All right. <laughs> Who's Wait, next? can I move? Can I move towards him? Um. And we'll say no. That jumping out of the crate, yelling and shooting, took up all your move actions oh, okay. this time. Um, and an arrow comes down from the other hill, uh, the furthest one up to the uh, east, and it hits Bergamot <gasps> for four Damn. points of damage. Four, four, and four. four. All of us. Uh, in the shoulder. Ah. It's sort of from that ang angle. Hey. All right, Bergamot with your one. <laughs> All right, um, I'm going to uh, advance one square closer to that guy. Um, and because he's still laying down, I'm going to take the flat side of the battle axe and just sort of golf swing against his head. All right, give me a roll. 14. 15, uh, battle axe is plus one. Uh, 15. That hits. Nine. Who? Clunk. Uh, it is a solid, like right in his face. Like I mean, you hear a crunch. His nose, blood goes all over your axe. Um, and See? you actually lift <laughs> See, him I up. Told you. <laughs> Too hard. <laughs> you lift him up on the ground and then he flips over and lands face down just like he was. Is he dead? Uh, no, he's not dead. Because he hit him with the flat of the blade. Ha -ha. Yeah. Oh, but he is and probably not speaking again for a long like, time. That's what you're going to get next. <laughs> I got plenty more where that came from. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to write a song about this. <clears throat> They definitely did not see that coming. <laughs> Smack. Whose turn is it next? I think we're, we're going to need an illustration for that one when this airs. Oh, no. I got pineapple. Yeah, the pineapple. 
Why would you even do that? I thought it was lemon. So, it was yeah, under like, a lemon one, and it was why? glowing yellow up through it. So the one on the hill that fired first uh, uh, fires down with another arrow towards Ada. Ah! And hits. Oh. And does one point of damage ah! as it gets caught up in your cloak. Ah! Ah! Ada, is your turn. Well, I'm going to shoot right at that guy. Hold on, let me adjust my hit points. Remind him that we don't want to kill him. But we will! If you would just come nicely and let us tie you up, we would not have to be shooting at you guys. Okay, um, should I throw days yeah, at that him? Yeah, that doesn't sound great, lady. <laughs> that doesn't sound great. I don't talk, okay? You're not, you're not selling this. <laughs> I'm not the talker. These guys are the talkers. You just told me to tell him something. Okay, so, uh, so should I throw, like, wild magic at him, or should I just do days? Ooh, scare him with you also have Mage like, Bolt you as well, remember? You don't know what kind of powers I have. Oh, I do have Mage Bolt, but that uses mana, and if I have to, like, use it to heal us later, I'm afraid to, uh... But if you don't use mana, then why be a mage? Just say... Fine, I'm gonna use Mage Bolt. Alright, which one do you want to hit? Uh, the one that just hit me. Twice. Alright, roll damage. Okay, uh, 1d4. Spider Yes, I do. You get an attack bonus, too. Oh, yeah. Four points of damage. Uh, you turn around, and what color is your bolt? I forget. It's like peacock colors. Okay. Like, it's green. And this multicolor bolt and flies and hits him in the and chest. And, uh. <laughs> and it's he's like. like a Defibrillator, but opposite, like a backwards defibrillator. Like a refibrillator. Yeah. Like he shouts, he's like, "They're using sodding magic on us! What is this?" What? Next up it's is. It's just an illusion. Is. <laughs> Wait, is that the type of mage you are? <laughs> you hit someone in the chest, burst blood everywhere, and then you're like, "It's all an illusion." <laughs> that didn't really happen. I'm not that charismatic, it's, okay? This magic Wait. makes you believe that that magic <laughs> yeah. wasn't real. Can you cast spider climb on me so I can, like, climb up those trees? All right. You can climb, climb up those trees anyways. <laughs> there's no trees. You're a freaking elf there's, lane. There's a tree. There's a tree. I think those are bushes. Are these, Zyla, what do you want to do? Those You're are fighting. bushes. Question. Um, yes. <laughs> bushes or trees? Trees. I just thought it might freak them out more if I start climbing like a spider. <laughs> They're not freaked out trees. at all yet. <clears throat> those, well, I think they're freaked out by the magic a little bit. Those trees are like 35 feet away in either direction. Oh. That is a handy little thing you're doing there. Can I do that? Is yes, there it's ruler, the ruler on the left. So this guy? Yep, and then you click and drag. Whoa! Right. Okay, I'm going to oh go my for gosh. that same guy. <laughs> and I'm going to warn him. Like That's so cool. I told you that last shot was a warning shot. This, this shot... Not so much. All right. That ruler rocks. Watch out for your knees. What's your little toe? Eleven. <laughs> wait, do you get the modifier from him? Yeah. Okay. Hit him in his little toe. Oh uh, wait, Anton's singing, right? Yeah, he's yeah. singing. She had plus one. Oh, um, twelve. Woo! Uh -oh. Uh, the arrow actually fires towards the bandit this time and hits the, the hill in front of him. Mm. So it looks like you are getting more serious with the shots. Like but now he can see the arrow. Look, buddy, He's like, Whoa. maybe you were just next like time, wagon sick. Next time I am definitely going to hit you. He says, oh, oh, you're shooting at me? <laughs> you're shooting at me? How about this? And he fires an arrow down uh, at you. Why is he not shooting at me? And, uh... And the arrow hits the crate right next to you, but doesn't hit you. Oh, who's firing who now, or what? I don't know what I'm what? saying. <laughs> who's firing badly now? I don't even know what I'm talking about. You suck. Yeah. I didn't know that you were trying to kill the cart. I thought you were trying to kill me. <laughs> The one on the other hillside. Silas, Silas been drinking a little bit before this trip. Yeah, what was in that, I that, uh, that cask you're uh, hiding I don't in? know. Moves <laughs> forward and shoots at Bergamot. 12. 
12 plus 1 is 13 is not enough. Nope. Uh, the arrow uh, gets gets trapped up in Bergamot's dread, so. I'll Ooh. save that for later. Bergamot, it is your turn. Let me add one arrow to my inventory. Oh my god, can I pull that get, pull the arrow out from the thing and shoot the guy with his own arrow? Because that would be awesome. Sure. Yes. Who's trying to get miss. out of this? <laughs> You're going to miss it. Oh, third time's the right. charm, baby. So just so you know, both <laughs> these guys are out of your movement range. Um, they're, one is 35 and one is 40, so you couldn't get within the melee attack. I mean, I have it, these guys. Um, but I also have um, my crossbow. But um, or ghost lights. That guarantee would work, but that's too easy. <laughs> um, uh, at the very least, uh, I uh, shout out, um, which uh, I guess could have happened at any point up until this moment. But um, I, I, ca I shout out uh, to all the guys. Um, uh, hey, who's in charge here? I don't think they feel like talking. I can still ask. Uh, the one up on the hill that Xyla's trying to shoot at <laughs> says, the guy you knocked out. <laughs> yeah, uh, and the one on the other hill goes, yeah, it's a free-for-all now, man. <laughs> All right, well then, fair game. I hope you guys like my, uh, uh, I hope you guys like a, a mage bolt. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because, you know, also, whenever someone runs up and just, like, side slaps someone with a battle axe and flips them over, there's like, who's in charge? It's like, oh, me, I'm in charge. No, they don't do that. <laughs> well, I figured I would get the a... most reaction because I, I... Apparently, you're in charge. Yeah, I'm in charge. It's you're like, for all. who's in charge? Figure break. <laughs> who's in charge? I'll do Wait, is he breaking closer. his own fingers? Because that's... <laughs> like, oh, man, this guy is crazy. No, he's breaking that guy's fingers yeah. that he knocked out. Oh yeah, he's still conscious. I could just Shoot. sit there and break his face. Who's finger. in charge? Guys! All right. Guys! <laughs> Unless we're going to turn the campaign that? that dark. Why are we no, doing I'm that? Gonna, I'm going to fire a mage bolt at are... the uh, guy up on the hill. Okay. I'm to your right or left? Um, you said it was the one uh, uh, the one that fired, yeah. um, that already yeah, fired. Um, that Laura's having, or that uh, Zyla's having such a hard time Okay. Um, yeah. This guy's not taking any damage yet, I don't think. Both of them he's haven't, mine. so. He's mine. I hit. But didn't I? All right. So if you want to fire the one at Zyla, did I hit somebody with mage bolt? At Zyla. Uh, the one behind you. He's down here somewhere. Oh, there's yeah. another one. Yeah, there's four of them. Yeah, you can see them a little bit. Well, the, you what? see them on the thing the whole time. No, I had no idea there was a guy right there. That's the one that's no, been man. shooting at me. That's the one that's been shooting it. Yeah, yeah. You said I want to shoot the one that's been shooting you. I'm glad that you don't have to roll for that because apparently you just cast forward and it flew around behind you and hit, hit the guy back there. It, it was so powerful with all the was way around you. She cast it like this. The map was. <laughs> all right. Roll some. Roll some bergamot damage. Uh, four, four. Uh, oh, five. Is my mage bolt damage? Nice. <laughs> That it felt like there was an extra one, but it, I thought. And that was uh, uh, this guy up on the hill. Yeah, and what? To the right or left? The one that, the one that. That's the one to the left. Okay. Okay. Sorry, you just pointed to the one on the right. Well, I, just um, the one that I, the one that was attacking Xylo. And what color is your bolt again? I know I keep asking. I haven't come up with a color for my mage bolt. It's a song. <laughs> I haven't come up with a song or a color yet, but I think it's gonna. No, have the to bolt be. is no, the song. It's going to have to be butterscotch colored. Mm. So like dirty yellow? Yeah, <laughs> bringing it back. It's Ooh, golden. A little sticky. I mean, that's like a butterscotch color, like a whiskey color. Uh, no, I like dirty yellow better than golden. <laughs> a little sticky? Yeah. Um, so so you, you shoot a little butterscotch bolt. Yeah. <laughs> that's the name of our next shot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, butterscotch bolt. Uh, and it hits this yeah, guy. Uh right in the chest and his armor just like splits open but it's all sticky and uh <laughs> yeah we can just go ahead and say that your bolt is a little bit sticky yes than, that's that's, and that's canon now <laughs> uh and and he looks down and he's like nope i'm done with this and he uh -oh. turns he turns tail is that the one the furthest away it's this one yeah ah i was gonna shoot him could I still run? Oh, yeah. no, wait, I shot. Because I could chase him. Yeah. How far can he run? 
Uh, you can run to one, up to one away from him, so one more. Yeah, I'll get super close to All him. Right. You run up. Uh, this guy down here that Ada forgot was there is going to take one more shot at Ada. And hits. Yeah. And does four damage. Yeah. Guys! Uh -oh. ah. And then he takes off running. Roll jerks. I'm going after that guy. Can I can I advance? You're gonna leave the horse? Alright, Ada. No, I can't leave the horse. What if you He's take still... off after him with the horse? <gasps> yes! <laughs> and let Zyla jump off. I feel the Zyla jump or uh, abandon ship! And then I like take a hard steer. Wait, what if I just, I'm turning the just horse? Unhooked the what horse. If, yeah, just unhook from the, the horse. You'll go faster. True. Yeah. Okay, I'm jumping on the horse it's and not I'm as moving. Exciting, but... All right, I'm gonna say to make this all go smooth. <laughs> heroic action. It's gonna be a heroic action. I'm gonna say that it's a uh, challenging heroic action. <laughs> but I inspired your courage. Yes. His his modifier applies on. It's a morale does it, bonus. Does it apply on uh, heroic actions? I'll say yes. It Hi. goes against charm and fear. I don't know too. what ride would be fall under with our skill set. Um, I, but the thing is, is Ada was, like, made herself, like, part of the barn when she grew up. Like, right. you know, the barn in Fairyport, she spent every open, mo like, every free moment in the stables. That is true. I'm just saying, it's a lot to jump, disconnect the horse, and ride off Goliath's all in six friends. seconds. So, I'll, I'll say that you can, can I use, your, get on the horse? use your strength or dex. And that would just be your whole turn, is just doing that action? Well, no, I'm saying, no, do a heroic action. Like, make it fun. Would Make I, the horse rear up. So, do I go these abilities here, strength? Yeah, the, uh, the ability so modifier. Over here? So, like, dex? Yeah, so that's okay. like a plus one for Sorry, the Sorry, the new yeah. sheets. Okay. Oh, 11. Hmm. All right, we will say that you jump off. You uh, draw out a dagger and cut off the the reins to the wagon and ride around and the only problem is this horse is not a battle horse so you end up about right here on top of the horse and he is just not following you Dang it. Uh, we'll say that next time um, you can use either an acrobatics check or a persuasion check <laughs> please go <laughs> if you want to keep trying to ride him um, give him something to eat but what do we have but I, you can you can still cast a spell. Well, I I already sent didn't I? Oh, I guess I didn't didn't actually shoot at him, did I? Um, I'm gonna shoot uh, another mage bolt at him. Yeah. Ooh, on horseback. That's awesome. Okay. Or wait, you're not on horseback. I could use minor trick to make it seem like we have an apple on a string in front of the horse to make Five. it go faster. Mm. All right. You can take your full ranged attack while mounted, but each attack suffers a negative four if your mount is moving. Um, but you said he came to a stop right there. Well, it well it's still moving. That's just where she got to. But Mage Bolt is perfect for firing from horseback because you don't have to aim. That's why I went and kept with it. All right, so you hit that guy for five points. Um, your rainbow pattern. Not rainbow. Your peacock pattern <laughs> uh, hits him, and he just uh, gets knocked over and falls flat into I mean, the dirt. There's nothing wrong with rainbows, but I just have a preference for peacock, okay? Got it. You like to peacock? Yes, I do. Like the peacock. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't? All right, so he is down. Awesome. Right. Next up will be Zyla. Yes. So that guy that Bergamot's running after is still so mad, but I don't want to accidentally roll low and hit Bergamot. So <clears throat> hit the guy up on the hill. Is yeah, that not the guy I'm that do. you've been shooting at the whole time? No. No, I've been shooting oh. at this guy. Go for the other guy. Nobody's gone yeah. for the other guy apparently. Cause that's oh my gosh. The guy I thought I was going after, but I wanna I wanna pull that arrow out, and I'm like looking at the guy that I was originally shooting, and he's like running away, 
I'm like, ah, coward. And then I pull it out, and then I go for the other guy. All right. Roll, roll attack. Oh, ah, yeah! <laughs> Yay, me! No! All right. This was a one. A one. That yeah. plus three. You really plus needed one. it, like... Try and right, roll five. Nice. That will be a five. <laughs> roll, roll a D one. Roll two ten sided. Oh we should have named. We'll this try out our new critical Sagaborn critical fumble chart that we've got here. <laughs> oh, so you do uh, the two D ten now? Yeah, we've got a bunch. Okay, sixty. No, wait. Is that a yeah? That's yeah, sixty. Sixty-seven. All right. <laughs> oh, that's magical. I was like, wait, too big. You increase the size of your opponent. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, no. Do I need to reroll? Um, oh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, doesn't feel right. Uh, All attack rolls are at negative one for 1d4 days. Oh, uh, so it's you like roll 1d4 yeah. and you roll 1d4. Yeah. And that's how many days that you're just at negative one. I mean, at least you're not at the bottom of a dungeon. Doing that. That's not a D4. Oh, that's a D6. Yeah. <laughs> At least you're not in a dungeon with a dirty sock in your mouth. <laughs> Burn my goes two days. Two there. days you'll be rolling at a negative one. Uh, like a negative one, two. Guys, one. I shouldn't oh. have I shouldn't have had that uh few shots of uh what, what did I have? I can't even remember now. It was the ghost lights gone bad. <laughs> yeah, I had several shots of ghost lights gone bad before we... I don't know if y'all know this, but Zyla's taken up drinking just a little bit, you know, these past few weeks. God, we Zyla! <laughs> so, you, Zyla, you that basically... Arrow, that arrow was full of some funky <laughs> mojo. Get rid of that yeah. thing. You, you pull the arrow out, and you turn and just fired it right into the crate in front of you. And you're just like, <laughs> I, I, I just don't even know. All right, guys, I swear I'm going to not drink anymore after that. Zyla. <laughs> but you also swore Except you were going to hit him. Except we're at the bar. Yeah, you also <laughs> said you were going to hit him. <laughs> All right, the guy next to uh, Bergamot hears Bergamot run up behind him and knows that he can't escape him. That's so right. he drops his bow, pulls out his sword, and advances. And stabs forward and clinks off of your scale nail. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Convinced that my roll space is too small, and that's why I'm rolling so poorly. <laughs> the, the guy on the top of the hill fires down on uh, Ada. Uh, I'm on a horse and moving. I'm harder to hit. And hits. Yeah. For five points. Guys, of damage. holy cow! I'm down to three hit points. Bergamot, Already? it is your turn. Yeah. Um, I've taken four, like about four or five points of damage, like. Every round. Uh, I am going to uh, pull out my new sword, which is yeah. a it is a long sword, and it is the Amarnium a- a- blade. Amarnium, the elven blade. The yes. elven long sword, uh, and I'm just going to do a flat, uh, flat bladed uh, smack on his butt. I was going to say his cheek, and I was just going to let my roll establish what cheek. <laughs> yeah, because all I, right. So he's had his warning. So you mean like right cheek, left cheek, or, or like or cheek, cheek or cheek? Mm-hmm. The role is going to establish. Okay. I feel that's more fair. Yeah. All right. So is roll. it like even? Is gonna be up and? We're like, gonna we're gonna let sixteen. That Seventeen. Hits. That hits. Roll damage. Didn't need to do all that, did I? What are you looking for? Um, the, uh, the, oh, it's right in front of me. Nice. Nine. Whoa. Nice. Uh, you hit him harder than you thought you were going to. <laughs> uh oh, what cheek? <gasps> um, and it hits him just like right on the, uh, on the eye. Does it knock his uh, eyeball out? I'm wondering. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, does he lose a tooth? No, he doesn't lose a tooth. Um, it it hits him so hard he goes cross-eyed, 
uh, and he flips around upside down and then just rolls down the hill on the other side. Oh, um, is he dead? Uh, you will anything. have to check very quickly. All right. Next. And I yell down from the cart like, I told you this would happen. You you yelled that to the dead guy. Yeah. Yeah. I gave you like two warning shots. Ada, it's your turn. <laughs> All right, I. Let's see what happens. Yeah. I guess at this point there's only one guy left. I don't actually need to be on the horse. Warn him again while charging at him on the horse. The horse was not listening to me, and it didn't work out how I felt. Tell so. him the horse has rabies. <laughs> he doesn't know. <laughs> okay. No, we're not going to bring the life like, into this. That was a huge mistake. He is not, despite the name, it is not a war horse. So, um, I'm going to, do I have to roll to get off him or can I just dismount? You can just dismount. Okay, so I dismount. Um, I guess I should shoot at the guy that's still coherent and then go check on everybody else, right? So, I'm going to just shoot wild magic at him. Okay. And so I get 12. 12 total? Because um, there's no... Wild Magic is a ranged touch, so you add your ranged attack, <clears throat> which is your base attack bonus plus your dex bonus. So I think that'll be plus one, plus one, plus Bergamot's one, so oh, my plus dex, three. My dex, like my abilities, dex bonus is plus two. Plus two, okay, so it'll be plus two plus your base attack, so it's plus three plus Bergamot's. It's plus so, four, plus so whatever you roll. Fifteen. Fifteen? That hits. Okay. Roll damage. Um, gosh, I've been like hitting this round. This is great. Let's see. <laughs> Two. Okay. Four? Yeah. Oh no, it gains 1d4 in power every two levels, so if I'm at level 2, then I get a day 2d4? Every two levels, so at level oh. 1, level 3. That's right, okay. So, so yeah, four. 4. All right, also remember, you guys do have those mana stones, the mm -hmm. elven stones that you had that store mana. Yeah, um, that's right. That's... I don't know if you ever decided who kept those, but... I thought I got that. I, I got still have one. The green gems? Mm-hmm. They were... Sp Bell stones. Yeah, that just gives you extra mana, but just something to keep in mind whenever yeah. you're casting if you run low on mana. Okay, I still have one of those on me. Oh, I don't know why you would have it. You should I like it. No, you I give it to me. I have one it's written pretty. down as well. Yeah, there's there's three I thought. So I think we all yes. three got one. Okay. I might be willing to let go of it for a I could pretty use purple. Think of the times I've crystal. thrown you over my shoulder and gotten you out of things. So <laughs> All right. let's be real. Talking about this amethyst. Thing I think here. I've you earned it. to him about giving up his amethyst. And I'm are like, you serious? I might give up this beautiful green stone. You guys are so materialistic, <laughs> guys. I'm not part of this. Anyway, no, what no, happened? no. What happened I, I believe that at? this is the perfect time that this would come up with your group in the middle of a battle, which I was like, by the way, I still got this stone that can help you if you want to talk to him about the purple stone and <laughs> Bergamot's up there knocking a the guy with the sword and he's like what you want my amethyst and I was like yeah I do and Bergamot's like what are you gonna do shoot me with an arrow I've honestly I earned, I've earned those stones you guys like who's the one that's actually well I mean you've like Zyla beat up things turn. but you have not killed a thing <laughs> uh okay um <laughs> okay I'm going to go for that guy again. All right. And we'll see how this goes. <coughs> yes, we shall. <laughs> we will. Oh. For the knees. Going for the knees. <gasps> oh, finally. That would be a 23. That hits. Woo! You, you did it. You better take his leg off. Oh, <laughs> roll damage. Do any of us have a tourniquet? <laughs> we got a couple first aid kits. Um, it's one d six. Oh shit! Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. I mean, shoot. We have cussed before on this show. <laughs> yeah, quite a bit. I have my ah oh, one damage plus uh plus his bonus because he said. 
Two damage. Right. Uh, the arrow slices through his arm as it flies by. I was shooting for his knee. Well, I know you were. Yeah, <laughs> 23. But you did two points of damage. Uh, a knee is a much bigger hit than, yeah. than two. All right, next up is that guy on the hill, and he sets down his bow and puts up his hands. He's like, The one just, I just shot? Just don't magic me. The one I, I can't make promises, man. Because I got the magic. <laughs> I offer him some beef jerky. Seriously? He, What's with you and the meat? He put his weapon down. We have to show him a sign of good faith on our end. Okay. We um, made him promises. Ada, I am going to go over to the guy that got, um, like, like, four and what like. It's this guy here? Fell down the hill. Oh, so, the one down the hill. Yeah. So, because he seems like the one that took the biggest hit. I need to we'll make sure say, it's alive. We'll say with all these guys, because it was being non-lethal damage, you weren't actually chopping into them, so none of them are on the verge of dying. Okay. But they're, they're, you get them hurt. all tied up, and even the one that is I'm gonna pretty damaged at the top of the I'm going to get Goliath hooked up to the cart again. The wagon. So, we've got everybody. Mm -hmm. Do we need to um, search them for anything? Uh, you can. I think I want to search that leader's pockets. Well, the stuff that they have on hand are probably the stuff that's missing that the people who yeah. hired us are going to want returned. Well, but we can check them for weapons and for gold and for anything that we could use. So. Okay. Right, well, we got four guys to check. Do we each roll for each, all four of them? No, I mean, you guys can, so, um, they, there's three short bows, uh, crossbow, three short swords. Um, you get, they have like just silver pieces and copper on them. Let me let me uh, just tally these things down because I'm just going to throw it all in the cart. Will you tell me that again? Yeah, uh, three short bows and one crossbow and three short swords. Uh, they also have a total of twenty copper and five silver pieces. Total. Jeez, what have they been doing out here this whole time? <laughs> Stealing. And uh, I mean, like this stuff. They have pennies. Uh, Zyla, just yeah. so you know, this stuff is all in the cart. This is not in my pocket, so oh, okay. uh, I don't like, but this money is on the cart, okay. assumingly all of ours. Yeah, or the people who <clears throat> hired so us to... Three of them are knocked out. The one guy who's still sort of... Uh, the one that well, surrendered? Yeah. Uh, when you're tying him up, he's like, he's like, look, you know, uh, if you just sort of let me go, they didn't know that how many there were. I... I'm not going to do this anymore. Nope. You just let me go. Wait, did... You chose this life of crime. Did he eat the jerky? Wait. That's, <laughs> so, wait, you're... The, the woman that was talking about getting into mischief and stealing wigs and cloaks is like, oh, wait, nope, you chose this life you of crime. You chose this life of crime. You knew you could get caught. <laughs> and this is what you get. Uh, You've hurt too many people. I agree. Do we have to walk back if there's four people on the... No, you can load them all up. Do um, I'm gonna ride wanna, the horse back because I don't want to be near those jerks. Poor I want to. Uh, I want to. Um, so tiny. You I, asked for a name, and the random <laughs> generator gave me such a gem that we have to use it. <laughs> His name is Your Guy. Your Guy. <laughs> your Guy. That's amazing. How do you spell that? Like Your G -E -O -R -G -U -Y. Guy. G e o r g u y. Your guy. Your guy. I, I hope it was gonna be G U Y, <laughs> G O R G. Your guy. <laughs> That's. Hey um, hey your guy. Uh, his, his last name is Man. Your guy. <laughs> your guy man. Your, your guy, guy man. man. Uh, your guy. Um, uh, how how was it that uh that you guys were able to uh. To figure out that, that that's magic that we were using and not uh not anything else. So as you're going it looks like magic. down the he goes, uh a bolt of light that changed colors shot out of her hand and hurt my friends. Well, surely you can do something like that. Well, what kind of tricks you got? I uh, I uh, who do you guys work for? Like what is well, happening? Uh, I'm asking you the questions, my friend. Like you're the one tied up in the cart. Let's let's keep this one way conversation. Uh, look, we just rob people, stole their money, and then spend it on drinking money. Well, who do you, who do you know that? I kind of left. Like if I have a glass, I kind of go, yeah, take a drink. What are you drinking, horse? Never mind. Excuse me. Uh, nothing. 
Whatever was in the barrels is what I'm drinking. Mm. That's what I've been drinking. That what, that melted, yells from the horse. Melted fox. <laughs> she had whatever I had. Melted coyote. Is that no. what was in the bottom of the barrel? I'm just no. so much smaller. <laughs> oh. Well, never mind. I'm not talking to him anymore then. Um, do you know of any other bandit? Um, yeah, I was trying to. Do you know of any other bandit communities in these parts? Bandit community? Like, I don't like, know. Well, like other, like, other <laughs> tribes of bandits? Bandit village where we just sit around and, and rob each other? <laughs> no. That's, like, that doesn't do you sound know like a of very, any. What do you call the group's gaggle of bandits? A band-aid of bandits. Is, is this your all's first rodeo? <laughs> well, you did well, go to bandit like school, right? Well, it's like our second rodeo, sir. <laughs> we, uh. we're, we're only really used to spiders and goblins, okay? This is the first time we've ever fought something that could talk back to us. Beaten by a bunch of rookies just out here. Are there other... Gaggle of bandits. <laughs> Gaggle. Are, are there other, Are there any other groups of bandits? I don't know. The if there were, we probably would have robbed them. <laughs> I probably would have had better luck Somebody than robbing... Somebody pull a knife on this guy and make him guys. talk. That's what I yelled back from the horse. <coughs> Bergamot, come on. Pull something on him. I was trying to... Pull him to talk. Talk. I was trying to butter him up, and you guys... You guys didn't like what I was asking him. He's lying. Okay. Wait, you think that these guys like had it together and they were like the head of some great bandit mafia (laughs) whose plan was to sit face down in the dirt until someone rides by to rob them? I don't know. You're right. They do sound like masterminds. (laughs) Did um, any of the other guys kind of like gain consciousness on the ride back? Uh, No, they are all out. (laughs) Um, So you lead this cart of bandits back to Ferryport. And you get back before sundown. Uh, as you come through the gate, which you have papers showing that you're working for the city guard through the Wanderers, they, they don't just let anyone ride in with a bunch of tied up people into the city. But as you enter into the city, you suddenly see a man walking through the streets, his head high above the crowd, wearing brightly colored clothing and juggling several burning torches in the air. That sounds like your kind of guy. Behind him walks a muscular man holding a metal A-frame construction upon his shoulders. Above his head on the metal poles is a beautiful young woman hanging from them, spinning and swinging and flying up on top to balance and walk the short length of the top beam, all while the strong man holds her up and walks calmly down the street. God, Zyla is in heaven right now. She's just like mouth drop, jaw dropped, like, and then she's like, and then then she's like, and then she's like, I could do. Are you drunk? Like, uh, wait, you could do it like I could twirls, that. or like I could you look that. at. I could do that. I could do that. Yeah. And then behind him, you see a, a dark-haired man in a bright costume walking along, handing out flyers and barking that this is the first week that the circus is here in Fairport and that you should visit. Guys, we can't miss this. Cannot. Yeah, this. these guys travel. Imagine the places they've been. They probably have knowledge of, you know. So you guys, of course, end up with a flyer, and uh, you continue down the road and go to uh, the hovel, which is the head of the wanderers in Ferryport. And there you're ready to drop off your load of uh, both conscious and unconscious bandits. Hey guys, look at what we got. Check out this motley crew.